right here can break you in the heartbeat when you're stalking. You see, we got dirt, dirt, dirt. And you got gravel. Back to dirt, dirt, dirt. That's all it takes is that little bit of gravel right there, and that can give you a way while you're walking across. You want to walk like you're walking on eggshells when you come up to rocks like this. It's just, uh, it can make a lot of noise. You're sitting there walking. See, when you come up something like this and you got grass and you're walking, try to uh, walk on the grass. It's more quiet. Um, but if there's a lot of leaves and stuff and you can see bare dirt, walk on the bare dirt. What you want to avoid is uh, walking on the rocks. See, we're just walking right in the middle. Okay, now if there is more leaves on the grass than there is on the dirt, I mean, if you got a lot of leaves on there, um, walk on the dirt then, because you don't want those leaves to be cracking up. But if there's not a lot of leaves, just uh, stay on the grass. It's a lot quieter. All right, when walking, um, especially with hogs, they're a lot quieter than you think. A lot of times, I mean, they can cover a long distance without making noise. And what you want to be doing is looking back and forth. These constantly hidden movement, not fast jerking, just slow movements back and forth. Because you catch your best motion out of the corner of your eyes, your peripheral vision. So as you're going along, that's what you want to do. You just want to be walking along, scanning back and forth, looking for that motion. sound even a large back I mean sound smell sight and hearing all play an effect but the biggest thing is sight a lot of times you just catch a back moving through the trees and that's how you you find them and then you figure out the direction they're moving and you want to come in from behind You want to set yourself up like this, where you can see a large area and you can scan. And that's when you're looking for that movement. I mean, even though I don't have a clear shot, I can actually probably see 100 plus yards through the trees in spots well over a hundred yards and if you can try to keep the sun to your back this is not ideal for stalking And this is the kind of stuff you want to avoid if you can. Right now we can't, so uh, it's just briars get caught up on you, dragon, you make a lot more noise. You don't even have to try. Now you see this? This is 
you want to, you got to be extremely careful when you're stalking hogs if you got stuff like this. I mean, this is what I would call a killing fill. Not necessarily for the hogs. Because you see how thick the ground is. It's as tall as the pig, so I mean, you definitely got to be careful and be on alert when you're walking through this kind of stuff. Because I mean, they can come out of anywhere at any second, so you got to be ready. Just thick stuff. Lots of hiding places. Didn't even know I was here till I was here. what you call fast tracking. I gotta get over it and unlock the gate. Fast tracking is not running. But some people you you're walking fast enough they think you're running. This is the probably the most ineffective way to stalk is this right here. Moving this fast 